How can our sisters tie this 140 centimeter scarf into a stylish cape knot? Today, I'm using this scarf to share our sisters this shoulder-draped tying method. We'll fold this scarf into a triangle like this, pick up this corner, then give it two corners around the neck and split the bottom corner. Hmm. All right, after splitting, we'll bring this part here. Secure it, tie a small knot. Now this knot is secured. Let's then pick up the two corners at the bottom. And behind the neck, tie another knot. Tidy it up a bit. Is this all right? It's more fashionable and also makes you look younger. The key is that it can also block the wind. So what about this one today? Hmm, have you learned how to tie this cape knot? Sisters, let's now start our second way of tying. So, for the second way of tying, let's still do the cape knot. Fold this scarf into a triangle shape, then fold it in half into a triangle. Okay, fold it into an inverted triangle shape like this, then find the opening of the scarf. There will be an opening on one side. Pinch it from this little tail here and keep pinching to form small pleats. All right, once you've secured this end, estimate if it can pass your head. Let's use a rubber band here to fix it in place. Okay, after securing it, let's take the opening of the scarf. This is where it's tied. Flip this side of the scarf over it, then put it through our head. Let's make some adjustments. This is another beautiful cloak. In this way, it will look like a top. And if we wear a long skirt, we can elegantly make our figure appear more slim and higher. So, sisters, we've completed today's two styles of shawl cloak. Have you learned? If you haven't learned yet, plows, subscribe our channel. See you next time, everyone. Goodbye.